secrets and mysteries. Ancient megastructures. Be it a necropolis, a giant monolithic statue, or a huge ancient city, all of the awe-inspiring structures we will see in this episode have captured the imaginations of researchers and explorers alike. Buried in desert sands or lush jungles, these giant structures were often hidden in some of the most remote or inaccessible places on Earth. We will travel across the world to visit some of the most incredible ancient megastructures ever built. Olmec Heads. More than 3,000 years ago, the Olmecs, the oldest recorded civilization in Central America, carved a series of colossal heads out of stone. The first head was discovered in 1862 and led to the unearthing of a new civilization in what is now the Mexican state of Veracruz. The Olmecs were the predecessors of the Maya, Inca and Aztec cultures and achieved cultural heights unheard of at the time. They carved the heads from giant basalt boulders using only simple stone tools. The heads portray men with wide lips, round cheeks and flat noses. They display uniquely naturalistic facial features, including dimples. Seventeen heads, ranging in height from 1.5 to almost 3.5 meters, have been discovered so far, but it's possible that more still lie buried beneath the ground. Due to their immense size and the quality of the stonework, current theories suggest that the heads may represent Olmec rulers, and the headgear could be protective helmets. The basalt boulders originally came from the volcanic Tuxtla Mountains, but archaeologists are baffled as to how the Olmecs managed to transport the boulders to their settlements, some of which are more than 100 kilometers away. And the largest of the heads is estimated to weigh some 40 tons. Scientists hope to one day solve this mystery, as well as the other secrets of the Olmecs. But as of today, most of their settlements remain largely unexplored. Buey. Some of the most intriguing monolithic statues in the world, the Muay, are to be found on Easter Island in the southern Pacific Ocean. In the 18th century, European explorers found a small island scattered with hundreds of human-like statues, some standing, some lying, some partly buried in the ground. It's believed that the Mue represent the islanders' ancient ancestors. The largest weighs around 82 tons and once stood a staggering 10 meters high. Some were originally topped with a giant hat-like topknot called a pukau, which had to be lifted onto the top of the statue separately. The most obvious question is how these huge statues were transported from the quarry to their destinations around the island, some of them up to 20 kilometers away. It was a local legend that led researchers onto the right track. The islanders knew that to reach their proper place, the statues had to walk. Using ropes, the Norwegian adventurer Thor Heyerdahl and the Czech engineer Pavel Pavel showed that it was possible to move a nine-ton moe with the help of just 17 people. So the native legend was vindicated, but another question remains. What was the purpose of these statues? Wooden tablets bearing glyphs have also been found dotted around the island. Could these provide a clue to solving the mystery? The glyphs, called Rongo Rongo, were also found on some of the Mue, 
But so far, all attempts at deciphering their meaning have been fruitless. Unfortunately, by the time Europeans had started to take an interest in the symbols, there was nobody left on the island who was capable of reading them.